A majority of Democrats, they don't want Joe. They want another option. Kamala Harris, go right ahead. <laughs> Joining us now with reaction, let's give a warm welcome to Louisiana Senator John Kennedy. <laughs> Senator, we have 13 dead Americans. We had John Kirby at that podium lying through his teeth. You know, I didn't really care when my kids, you know, they got involved in a little bit of mischief, nothing like I did. Um, <laughs> that didn't bother me. I, but if they said I didn't do it when I, don't, I knew they did, I got really angry about that part of it. In this case, you have a president lying over and over again. Like, he never once talked to Hunter about his foreign business dealings. That was a lie, too. But this is a lie that cost American lives, and we now have hostages being held in Afghanistan. President Biden's report on Afghanistan, Sean, is a fable. The American people may be poorer under President Biden, but they're not stupid. Uh, President Biden's approval rating ranks right up there with jock itch among American voters. Uh, and there's, there's a, there's, there's a reason for that. Uh, it, it's the president's, in part, his surrender to the Taliban in Afghanistan. Now, that's not the only thing that the Biden administration has screwed up. They're never just one or two cockroaches. Uh, President Biden has mismanaged Congress. He's mismanaged COVID. He's mismanaged the border. He's mismanaged crime. He's mismanaged the spy balloon. He's mismanaged the economy. He's mismanaged fentanyl. And he's, he's uh, forfeited our energy independence. But his surrender to the Taliban in Afghanistan was especially egregious because it telegraphed, as you pointed out, to China and Russia and North Korea and Iran that he, President Biden, intended to pursue peace through weakness. And peace through weakness never works. Now, those are the facts. It, it gives me no joy to recite them. But um, un, 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 unless you're a woker, or unless you have a neck tattoo, or unless you have both, you're both, you know that I am correct, and the American people know that I'm correct. Senator, you know, we know about the economy. We know about borders. We know about energy independence all lost. We know about Afghanistan. But here's what scares me. Our number one geopolitical foe is China. Number two is Russia. They have aligned together. They have aligned also with Iran. They have now aligned also with Saudi Arabia, China brokering a deal between Iran and Saudi Arabia, and now Saudi Arabia and the Syrians. Um, you see their presence in Africa and Latin America. And what I see happening is because Joe Biden abdicated his role as the leader of the free world, they are enemies that don't have great intentions for the world are now taking full advantage. And I think this is now uh, developing a new axis of evil. Am I overstating the fact? No. Think back. Why did Putin invade Ukraine? Why has China been so aggressive? During the first year or so of President Biden's term, he, he not only surrendered to the Taliban, he uh, removed sanctions on the Nord Stream 2 pipeline. He got rid of the China initiative. I mean, he showed, he, I mean it, mean it, he showed every uh, intention of trying to appease both China and Russia. And you mentioned what scares you. I'll tell you what also scares me. Um, President Biden has another year and a half to discover new and innovative ways to suck. And it is a dangerous world out there. Senator Kennedy, I, I don't have a senator because I'm stuck in the city, in New York State. I, I think I'm going to adopt you as my senator, if you don't mind. I'd be honored. We appreciate you being here. Thank you, Senator. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.